All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you got a pretty good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment USC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Big call for land. Now we get back to range. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling, slipping. He's doing a great job. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, missed on that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. When he drops his hand, throw a head kick. Misses again with a right punch. 
Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. It's the elbow there. And they separate. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand on point. Straight right, he misses. Wow. Oh, big punch lands. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Just missed with the left there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Punch over the top. Straight right hand, no good. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice right punch followed by a left. Throwing that jab, no good. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. What a body kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big punch land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Tags him with the left. Ooh, blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Right hand punches the clinch. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Whiffs on the right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Left hook, right hand. He went high on that one. Oh, straight right. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. He blocks the shot. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Straight punch land. Oh, single collar tie here. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, 10 down. Ooh, big shot land. Just misses with the straight right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, he's so educated, he's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Oh, he hurt bad with a jab. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful punch. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there absolutely. Is. Ten Wait. minutes in the books. No more, no more, no more, no more. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Let's go, Pretty guys, good round. Pretty good round. 
but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Good point, oh. man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh! Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. And oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right. Whoa! Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Single collar tie now. Back and forth we go here! Well, not only is... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched, bro. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliano is going to stop in this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Knockout Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.